be frosting the windows in Freddie's kitchen. And this is the only room in the flat that's directly overlooked by some houses. Um, so we're going to frost the windows and I'm going to show you how. Um, I'm using frosting from a company called Pearl Frost that I've used twice before. Once in my own lounge and I also made a video um, for the interior cabinets in the kitchen. Um, so I'm going to do that now. So the first job is to clean the windows. They have to be really, really clean. So I'm just going to do that and then I shall take the frosting out and see what it looks like. Also, these um, catches need to come off. Um, so I'm going to clean the windows now. So I'm just washing them with washing up liquid and hot water. These worktops are sturdy. Right, I'm just going to get, and um, they're quite clean really, I'm just going to get a knife. There's a few um, bits of paint on the windows, so I'm just going to get a knife and scrape that off before I rinse them. Okay, so here's my window scraper. I don't think it is actually a window scraper, but it does the job. Okay, the windows are washed and rinsed. I'm not gonna bother drying them because I'm gonna have to wet them again to put the stuff on. Uh, but I just want to take a look and see if it's nice. Um, that's the tool kit and this is the frosting okay so you they make this to the exact measurements that you send so hopefully this, this is how it comes so it's on on paper you have to peel this off and stick it up. And let's see if it fits. Yeah. Yes, it's perfect size. Um, I don't think I can see this, but it's a bit bigger than I, th I thought it would be more delicate. I'm sure my one at home is a bit, a bit more delicate than this. Um, I think I, I think I might have to wait till Freddie gets back and ask her if she, if she likes this. In fact, I won't ask her if she likes it because I don't want to put the idea into her head that she doesn't like it. So I am going to just say this is it and see if she thinks the same. Right, okay, I'll just have to wait for her for, she's just gone to her base to get some more paint. So, I'll come back in a minute. Okay, I've waited five minutes for Freddie, she's not back, and I just want to get on, so I'm not gonna wait for her. If she doesn't like it, she doesn't like it. Right, now the first thing you have to do is to make, it's called a slip solution, and use this bottle to put it in and that's a waste. I'm going to just pull this out. It needs to be in a spray bottle so I'm just using an old cleaning bottle. Um, it's the water with a few drops of washing up liquid. Okay, so you make the slip solution using just 
water and a few drops of washing up liquid. I'm just going to check how many drops. Um, right, three to five drops, half a litre. That's 820, so about, about, roughly. And that's not coming out in drops either. So I've just guessed it will be absolutely fine. Um, and give that a shake. And it actually says to, it does actually say to clean the window that I've already cleaned with this solution. So I'm just going to do that again. And, and it also says, I'm, I'm just going to do one at a time. It also says to dry it with a paper towel, which I didn't think I did. I'm sure I didn't last time, but I'll do it. Worktops out with this stuff because we're not entirely sure how waterproof this Ron Seal varnish is. And I would rather that Freddie ruined the herself when she moves in, not me. Right, so I'm going to draw this. Evenly. 
otherwise it's not going to stick properly to the glass when it dries and it will be boggly and even not look nice. The one that we've got at home, it's been there, oh, that must be 10 years, and it looks fantastic. You would never know that it wasn't real, real glass. Okay, so if you can see here, this is where, um, can you see a bubble? So it's things like this that you've really got to make sure you get rid of. So obviously you have to start from the middle and push that water out. Um, and mop it up as you go. Can you see it being pushed up? And you have to start from the middle obviously because you're pushing it out of the sides. Up and out. Poor neighbours aren't going to be treated to our dance routines anymore. So if 
you want to see this done on interior doors, not, not windows, then check out my other video, which I think it's called Kitchen Makeover Installing Faux Frosted Glass. I think that's what it's called. not Ray Charles, it's James Charles. Whatever I was talking about earlier. Okay, that's that. I'm just going to give them all a final check um, to see if any bubbles have developed. So something I just forgot to say, in the kit that came with it, the frosting, there's this little um, scraper, which I didn't use because I've got a bigger and better one, but it is better than, I'm taking this home, because this is better than using a standing knife. There's also a, a trimmer, I didn't have to use it on this because these were measured perfectly, but. Um, I know when we did the ones at home, because the windows are so old, it wasn't a nice even edge and you did have to, we had to trim it, so it comes with those as well. So, finished. I'm really happy with them, Freddie's really happy with them, nobody can see in now, so, uh, so that was a job well done. Um, I will see you next time. Bye!